Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I know it's been a little while. I haven't given you any updates, so that's what this one's about. Uh, if you notice, there's obviously an empty spot here where the car was. It's actually out getting paint right now. Uh, the car is getting closer and closer every day, so hopefully we're going to have that to start putting back together real soon. Maybe give you some more content. Uh, I've got a lot of the painted parts back, and they're looking really good. They're Grand Prix white. I've got the fenders, the deck lid, the wing, a couple other odds and ends, sunroof panel, whatnot. Today, I'm actually going to bring in the engine and from the other garage into the main garage, get it cleaned up, or at least start working on cleaning it up. Uh, main goal today is just to get it on the table that I've cleared off with a couple of Diet Coke bottles sitting on it. Ignore that. Uh, but we're going to get that over here and uh, get cracking. So let's get at her. Okay, it's on the table. Uh, actually, this is a different day. I had a bunch of stuff filmed and lost it, but, and it's really cold, so toboggan. Anyway, uh, it does have an aftermarket. Um, I'm not sure, I'm probably butchering this name. Coquelin? 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 I'm not real sure. K-O-K-E-L-N turbo. I'm not sure what the trim, what size that is, but it looks, Pretty beefy, really. Um, from what I understand, it's a period update for 930s, a little more boost, a little more power. I think it helps with some of the lag, so I'm pretty excited about that. Also, this is, uh, well, it's bad. This is bad. Uh, <laughs> but if it's functional, if it works, it works, right? Uh, I, oh, yeah. I paid, just to let everybody know, we know where we're at here. $18,000 is what I paid for this plus shipping. Um, it's a lot. Yeah, that was a, that was the most money I've ever spent on an engine ever. I, I never thought I'd spend it. And it's not, you know, it's kind of unknown. I know it runs. I've got a video of it running. Maybe I'll put it in here. But uh, it's, you know, it's overall pretty good. It's got some things that need addressed. I mean, little stuff. It's got some wiring that is a little frayed. Um, it does have some oil leak. Yeah, get a light. Okay, now you can kind of see. You can see the oil leaks a little bit around that valve cover, which, eh, whatever, no big deal. Um, it, uh, you know, overall, it's pretty solid. Some of the wiring, I mean, that's duct tape, so that's that's nice. I mean, it's kind of like I already built this thing. It's really wild. Uh, it's totally something I would do. <laughs> and uh, it does have a cracked, a little bit of a crack there, but the threads are good. I'll try to fix it, but I'm not going to be too worried about it. It is just a whole the intercooler. Uh, the intercooler is two double, it's a double stacked factory intercooler. Okay, I lied. That is two factory intercoolers stacked on top of each other and welded together. Um, 
Drop in the comments. Let me know if you've ever seen anything like that. Maybe that's a thing they used to do back in the day. Interesting, to say the least. You know, it's uh, got some dents and dings. Looks like after they put the turbo on, they had to make some adjustments. Now, uh, you know, I would talk smack about this weld, but I'm, I'm no welder either. I can make stuff stick together, and that's what it looks like they did. If, it, if it's not leaking, which, who knows. But what happened is it looks like it came out of here and down to the turbo, but the, the angle that looks like it had to make that turn, uh, they must have had to get a little... Uh, we'll go with creative to make that work. So, otherwise, let's walk around. See, car's been in here. It's pretty nasty in here, but uh, it's also cold. Um, you know, I've turned it over by hand. We did pull some of the spark plugs and check down there. Boards look good. Uh, you see a lot of cross hatching, so hopefully this is more of a recent be build. I don't know. It does have this as well. Um, it's an extra fuel injector with the and dial. Yeah, see if I can get it. No, oh, nothing's helping that. Anyway, and dial. Uh, controller, which you can see that's pretty goobered up. Um, interesting. So from what I understand, they have, so counterclockwise all the way is off. And then each click is 10% increase in fuel delivery, wide open throttle. Kind of a neat concept, but from what I've been told by uh, a guy on uh, TikTok, I mean, he, he's, you know, on TikTok, but uh, he sounds pretty legit. So uh, probably more knowledgeable than I'll ever be on this. Anyway, he was telling me that uh, these cause a lot of fires. So we might not be running that. Might have to just uh, get a new uh, fuel whirler up there and see see what happens. Which actually, let me, let me tell you another thing. I didn't know, because I'm pretty new to all this, to be honest with you. I did not realize what those were for. And I'm going to give you a minute. What do you think that's for? Why do you think there's a spring on those screws on that intake? Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, in case you have a backfire. <laughs> so it doesn't blow everything apart. Got a little room to expand. Interesting. Didn't know that. Uh, I knew they were kind of bad about blowing intakes apart, but I didn't realize they ever did that. So learn something new. I have a feeling I'm going to learn a lot of new stuff. <laughs> so... Uh, other than the turbo, that intercooler, the fuel, which it's, it's all kind of adding up to, let me know what you think. Do you think this thing's been played with? You think it's got some, uh, some more power? Okay, so anyway, I've got a new clutch, flywheel, pressure plate, throw out bearing. I got new, let me put this back. Got a new pilot bearing. I need to take all that apart and assemble the new stuff. So that's on my list. Anyway, I want to get this all cleaned up. And uh, not a whole lot. I mean, honestly, I'm going to run this for a while because I can always take it back out. It's not that big a deal, guys. Um, I want to hear this thing run. I want to make sure everything's good. So I'm going to change the valve cover gaskets, clean up a little bit, nothing crazy, and make sure it runs right and all that. And I can pull back out next winter and detail it. That's that's my plan, you know. Um, a lot of guys will go crazy over that. Oh, you got it out. Might as well, eh, whatever. I'll take it out. Got to lift. Whatever. So anyway, tell me what you think about uh, about what we got. Tell me what you would do. Uh, I know a lot of you are going to want me to detail this engine, paint it all up. Um, as uh, Vice Group Garage, little little Craigslist rebuild. Uh, thank you, Derek, for giving me that one. Um, so I'm thinking about doing that, cleaning it up a little bit. I don't think I'm going to get too involved until, I don't think I'm going to get too involved in ripping it apart and everything. I, you know, let's get it in the car. Let's make sure it runs. Let's make sure I don't have a bunch of oil leaks or something like that, even though it looks pretty clean. Uh, car was running, so it shouldn't be too terribly hard to get running, but we're going to try. We're going to make sure, and uh, you think it's going to make some power? Do you think this thing, let me know if you see anything on this intercooler. What do you know about this turbo? 
I know there's a lot of Porsche folks out there. Please educate me. I'm a noob. Um, been my dream car, but I know very, very, very little about this. Uh, I'm learning as I go, and that's all I can really say about that. I, I'm just trying to trying to pick up some knowledge, so please drop some knowledge on your man here. Anyway, car is in paint. It should be done real soon. Did I show you the fenders? Let's show you the fenders. There's a helmet. Um, it's my daughter's helmet. So I got the fenders back. <laughs> They're looking smooth. Got a deck lid. Some of the cladding goes under the bumpers. Uh, got a little lip that goes around for the exhaust. Sunroof panel. And the wing. I got to do some cleaning on. I, I wussed out. I didn't want to pull the rubber off of this. I don't know if you can see, but there's some overspray there. He did what he could, but I'm going to end up having to pull the rubber loose. I'm really worried about that. Supposedly notorious for spinning in there, and these are not cheap. The rubber is very, very expensive, so hopefully that'll, that'll straighten out and come off enough that I can clean that up. 914 has turned into a workbench, as is everything in this garage. Garage is nasty. I mean, I got lights and trash cans. And, uh, anyway, stay with me. Uh, I'm going to show you where we're at on the car. Hopefully next week I'll be able to go over and do. So hopefully next week I'll be able to give you some good video of the car ready for paint. Stripped down. Uh, he's doing the stripping and body work right now. So hopefully I can bring that to you next week. So anyway, come back, check it out, and... Uh, Drop some knowledge on me in the comments. Let me know anything you see that I'm missing. Um, educate me. I need some help. All right. Catch you next time. Okay. <laughs> Quiet on the set. I mean, but like, is it... Like where, where's the distance at? Where do I need to be? I want my nipples up. Seriously, my feathers.